Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Vanin and today you're joining me here on Ragnarok within the game of Ark. Um, as you all know, uh, or those who have been to this channel beforehand, you know I'm a bit of a fan of, of builds, normally on the fairly large size. Um, so I thought I'd come over to Ragnarok because it is absolutely tailor-made for those who love building and more point, importantly those who love building on a large epic scale. So um, today I have decided that this is our project. I am going to build some kind of a bridge construction, uh, maybe some kind of a gate or or something in that in this location here. Ever since I saw Ragnarok a few years back um, I have always thought to myself, I really, really want to build some sort of cool bridge gate thing in this location. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. Uh, previously on some of my, on my some of my videos, um, I have strictly just done vanilla, but this is going to be the first video that I'm going to introduce some mods. Um, I'm going to leave a full list of all the mods that I use um, on this build and any future builds in this area, um, as I have a few things up my sleeve that I kind of think might work in this area, not just this one build, maybe one or two more. Um, <clears throat> but I will leave a full list um, of mods that uh, certainly for that I'm using in this build. Um, but in this build we have S+. Plus. And we also have Castles, Keeps and Forts Remastered. Um, <coughs> I love these two building mods. They're absolutely phenomenal. Um, <coughs> there's a lot of the lot of stuff um, that it, within Arc itself, these two mods just polish off and just give you that phenomenal experience. But don't worry, those guys who are on console um, or don't use mods, um, people, for instance, that use the, the Epic um, version of, of Arc, um, all of this really is kind of achievable, um, still using vanilla. So, for instance, the video that I did a while back of how to build on uneven ground, you can 100% be able to do foundations or foundation support underneath the water in order to be able to achieve what we're going to achieve today. Um, so just because I'm doing using mods um, because I want a certain aesthetics and I want certain um, things and also as well as I want to make life a little bit easier for myself, don't think that you can't achieve this um, <coughs> without mods itself as well. So without further ado, Let's get going.
so there you go guys that is our vikings bay bridge water bay sea thing uh, i'll come up with a, a a better title i hope for the uh for the actual video itself um but what have what have we done we have a gate system down here um we have a main gate that leads us in and out here where we can sail a raft through and um, we have two more gates on either side uh where we have underwater pens <clears throat> um i think i'm probably going to go back and take another look at those underwater pens um like the the way i've done the the glass down there i'm not 100 percent satisfied and happy with the textures so i think i'll probably revisit those um but i will keep you updated and informed as to what goes on with them uh we have the s plus glass there with the ability to tint it um s plus glass to me is one of the best things ever just makes builds look so much cooler and so much better so the ability to to look out over we've got the the mini guns because what build wouldn't be cool without mini guns and then the the use here of the s plus ocean platforms the ability for these things to snap together and then being able to change the model of them really opens up a huge world for you of different cool things to do with with ocean platforms i personally when ocean platforms first became a thing um was a touch disappointed with not being able to build out and build down i understand the the reasoning behind that however they they ha they held so much potential and the guy who does um s plus the mod maker he came along and rectified that the ability to snap them together the ability to build out from them the ability to build down from them is just a game changer it, it genuinely means that these things can become a viable really cool base option in my opinion now i didn't really use the ability to oh, coming out of creative mode can sometimes be entertaining um i didn't really use the option of being able to build down um i more used the stackable foundation option and being able to build up uh, that was the way that I chose to do that with this as it just tied in better to what I was looking to achieve. However, you 100% can build down um, from them. And obviously here you, I've shown you can build out with them and you've got the steps there. Castles, Keeps and Forts years ago um, was never able to you you weren't able to snap it to things like s plus um and stuff like that but thankfully that's all been resolved um and now you can then happily have a mixture of s plus vanilla and also your castles keeps and forts um pieces uh things like the the windows that can go into the gateways um add a phenomenal touch being able to make big archways is just just changes the 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 look of stuff um being able to make battlements half walls things like that uh just really take things to the next level and really give you that castly feel um the other thing that really i absolutely adore about castles keeps and forts is the roofing pieces having outside corners and having inside corners really does mean that you can really make phenomenal looking builds and top them off um, with a phenomenal or fantastic looking roof so both of these towers mirror each other and if we come inside we have 
We have our staircase leading up. And then we come on to the, the next bit and then go all the way up to the top. In here. And of course, more mini turrets, because he doesn't love mini turrets. I mean, come on. So, guys, that is my build for, um, for in Vikings Bay here to connect the bridge pieces over with the two towers. Um, on the on the sides, the gateway to come in, bring your raft through, bring your boat through. Um, two water pens, two like holding water pens uh, for you to be able to do stuff there. Um, and then more sort of castle bits on top of the ocean platforms. So if you like the build, um, feel free to smash that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe bell, <coughs> the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified on future videos. Um, and I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Catch you later, guys.